welcome back to another episode of Bernadette TV and in this episode I'm going to be talking to you about the different ways that you can create an online product. Now I'm a huge fan of online products because uh, they've actually helped me to grow a multi-million dollar online business and one of the reasons I love online products is compared to physical products you don't have um, all of the setup costs you really are getting paid for your ideas um, the other beauty is when you're creating your own online products, you have a lot more control um, over the product creation and also the pricing. You're not reliant on suppliers to set your margins or your prices. And so you can really price your programs according to the value that they deliver to your end customer. So you know, price can really be elastic when it comes to online programs. So if you've already committed that you're going to have an online program, what are the, some of the ways that you can create it? Well, I like one of two ways. Um, the first one is to get paid to create the product. So let me give an example of how that might be. This might be that you teach your program live in a boot camp, maybe for six or eight weeks, and you show up and you deliver the content live every week to a small audience, you answer their questions, you might have additional um, ways for them to interact with you, and then at the end of that, you have now created your first product. You have a standalone product that you can sell the recordings of. This is how I got started with my own online programs. In fact, my very first products, the very first thing I ever sold online was a teleseminar that I delivered to an audience of two. And uh, it was all about lead generation. And um, I posted a link to this product on my website and uh, I sold it for 25 pounds. And I can remember the very first time uh, that I saw that sale come through and it was incredible because it was the first time I made money in my sleep So I had actually got paid to create product and that is my favorite way So if I am looking to create content on a new topic One of the things that I'll often do is decide to leave lead a live workshop on it. Well I'll bring people together I'll teach them the content. I will record it and I will sell the recordings So I've used that method over and over so think about can you get paid to create the product now? That doesn't suit every personality style, and I, I respect that. I've had people say, Bernadette, I just couldn't do that. I would not want to take anybody's money until I knew that I had my whole product designed and outlined. The only downside to that is, you know, if there's not an audience, or if you haven't proven what it is that you want to sell, you can invest a lot of time in product creation without really knowing that there's going to be a ready-to-buy market for it. So if that's the case, what I suggest you do is think about, is there a way that you can create a smaller version first? So for example, if you're thinking about doing um, a six week program, is there a way that you could turn it into a 30 or 60 minute video, for example, that you could sell at a lower price that maybe doesn't go into the depth that the longer program would, but it will give you a chance to test the market. I actually did that with um, one of my products uh, when I launched How to Attract Corporate Clients. I originally wasn't planning for it to be this big box product that I eventually sold for over a thousand dollars. I started out just leading one live teleseminar on it where I shared my content and answered questions but doing that made me realize that there was an audience for it so um, I was able to offer it in a bigger way. So those are the two ways um, that I've shared with you to create uh, your products. If you're creating an online product I'd love to hear about it. Feel free to let me know in the chat below and tell me what, you're, what you got cooking. And um, if you want to see more, um, I really invite you to come and join me on my webinar for um, the ultimate guide to online profits because there's lots in there that will really help you to really get your audience for your product because the product's one part of the equation, but what you're really going to need is the audience of buyers and that's what I can show you in this webinar. So that's it from me. I um, hope you have lots of fun with this one and I shall see you on a future episode of Bernadette TV. If you like this video and want to see even more great content on how to grow your online business, then keep watching.